Hello, <coughs> hello everyone. I'm Chu Juyang from Shanxi Normal University. Today, my report topic is medical breast ultrasound image segmentation based on deep learning. This is my outline. First, I want to talk about the research background and the significance. And uh, second is our first work, CNN transformer based for BUS image segmentation. And our and second work is multitask learning for tumor segmentation and classification. Last is conclusion and discussion. Um, first, uh, let's see the research background. According to Global Cancer Statistics 2020, female breast cancer has now surpassed lung cancer as the leading cause of cancer incidence worldwide in 2020, and it's also the fifth leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide. The advantages and disadvantages of ultrasound technology. First, uh, we know that uh, ultrasound technology has many advantages, such as ultrasound imaging is versatile, safe, and highly sensitive, and has become an effective screening method due to its painless, non-invasive, non-radioactive, and low-cost characteristics. It is now an important tool for clinical breast cancer detection. Segmentation of breast lesions from ultrasound images is an important step in computer-aided diagnostic systems that assess the radiologists in ultrasound-based breast cancer diagnosis. Also, many disadvantages exist. First, it is also misleading or it has misleading or blurred borders. Yeah. Second, breast ultrasound BUS images with uneven intensity distribution, similar visual appearance of legion and non-legion backgrounds, and uh, irregular shape of breast lesions, complicated change in the central. Uh, here is the advances in BUS, some representative work. First is the famous UNET, proposed in Mikai 2015, and the UNET++, and the S2PNET, and the TransUNET, and the UTNET, and the GNET, and the AUNET. These networks all focus on BUS segmentation and the HOVER trends proposed in IEEE TMI 2023 focused on classification. Our first work is the HCTNet, a hybrid CNN transformer network for breast ultrasound image segmentation. Publi uh, it was published uh, in computers in biology and medicine in 2023. Let's see the background. There are many problems with CNN and convolution operations in CNN tend to focus on local regions and have a limited ability to cap capture distant dependencies in the image, which is detrimental for ultrasound images in the presence of speckle noise and shadows, and can lead to a decrease in the accuracy of breast lesion segmentation. On the other hand, transformer can obtain, can obtain sufficient global information, but it is deficient in obtaining the underlying details and needs to be pre-trained on large data sets making it difficult to apply directly to tasks related to medical images. Uh, it is easy to think of uh, combining CNN with transformer, 
However, there are many problems with previous seal and, and transformer fusion methods. CNN were used in their work. CNN were used as the back, backbone for feature extraction, and the transformer was then applied to low re resolution feature maps to obtain non range dependencies. However, there are many. There may be a problem with these methods in that the benefits of the transformer are not fully exploited in high-resolution feature maps. Here is the TransUnit. Is such an example. This is our proposed HCT Net framework. The encoder extracts global features of breast ultrasound images at different scales by CNN and T blocks. And the SCA, the SCA module is proposed in the decoder to reduce the semantic differences with the decoder with the encoder. Specifically, here is the T block diagram. T block is a transformer encoder block. We propose T block in the encoder to compute the interactions between pixels in ultrasound images, compensating for the lack of global information captured by CNN. T block is constructed on the multi head self attention, which allows the model to jointly attend to information from different representation subspaces at different positions. Here is the SCA module that is special wise cross attention module. We develop SCA module to reduce the semantic discrepancy between the encoder and the decoder subnets by fusing special attention maps. Additionally, residual connections are utilized between decoder blocks to enhance the position information of legions in breast ultrasound images. Here, this is our ablation study results. We can see HC TNET with all components such as T block, SCA, and the residual connections included gives the best segmentation results in dice, jacquard, recall, and accuracy. And it can make more accurate segmentation of leisure area. And this is the HC TNET results. This is the ground truth, this is the image. This is a comparison with the state of the art. This is the comparison of the segmentation performance on boosted dataset. And this is the performance on dataset B. And this is the results on BUS datasets. From the three tables, we can conclude that HCTNet integrates the advantages of CNN and the transformer and achieves the better performance than state-of-the-art segmentation networks on three public datasets. This is the visual visualization results. Also, the HCT net achieves best results among the various compared methods. So we can say HCT net uses a hybrid CNN transformer architecture, where the convolutional and the self-attentive mechanisms are used to establish the long distance dependencies and are able to take full advantages of these of their strengths.
This is our second work. We proposed ACS Net. This is the multitask learning for segmentation and classification of tumors in breast ultrasound images. This paper was published in Computers in Biology and Medicine in 2024. We know there are many advantages of multi-task learning. Multi multiple tasks share a single model with a reduced memory. Multiple tasks propagate calculation results simultaneously, increasing the speed of inference. Associated tasks can improve each other's performance by sharing information and complementing each other. And this is the segmentation network UNET results. This is the classification net CLS net. CUNET is a, is a multitask learning. We can say the results are improved. However, there are some existing problems with multitask learning. For example, misleading, misleading contextual information in the encoder leading to underutilization of truly information features. And the tumor region regions with large variations in morphology, morphology and the size and the problem of under segmentation or over segmentation is more prominent. Yeah, this is an example of multitask learning for segmentation and classification of tumors. In, sun, in 3D, automated breast ultrasound images. And here is our framework. For tumor segmentation, we are develop, developing the DSA module and the GET unit. The DSA module is effectively adapts to morphological changes, while the GET unit optimizes the information flow between the encoder and the decoder, thereby thereby enhancing the accuracy of segmentation. For class classification, our network integrates a channel attention mechanism and a multi-scale feature future method, achieving excellent performance in breast cancer classification. First, let's say the GET unit. GET unit the input feature map is directed, directed to two branches with special attention mechanisms. These branches use utilize GAP and GMP respectively to extract the relevant feature details. After summing the feature maps from both branches, a refined output is generated via 3 multiply 3 com. This is the DSA module. The input feature maps first pass through a deformable convolution to preliminarily extract the features of the tumor regions. These, region, these features are then fed into a special attention module to refine relevant feature details and finally processed through another 3 multi plus 3 deformable convolution to obtain enhanced output features. This is the ablation study exp uh, experiment results. Um, this is the uh, ACS net concluded all components. This is the uh, results.
and、uh, here is the visualization results. All demonstrate that the effectiveness of the proposed gauge unit and DSA module embraced ultrasound image segmentation. And this is the segmentation performance on Bussy. This is the S our ACS net results. The above are the state of the art methods. This is the classification Bussy uh classification performance on Bussy dataset. Also, ACS net achieves the best results. This is the segmentation performance on BUS, and this is the classification performance on B BUS datasets. Also, we can say SAS Nudge achieves better results than previous state-of-the-art methods. This is the visualization results. And this is on Bussy dataset. This is on BUS dataset. This is the original image. This is the ground truth. This is our result. Yeah, our result makes the best result. So to summarize, we have done two jobs. The first one is we pr propose a hybrid CNN transformer network to address the problem that CNN cannot directly acquire non-range pixel dependencies, and the results are superior, superior to. The current mainstream breast region segmentation algorithms, and the second one, considering the correlation between tumor classification and segmentation, a new multi-task learning framework, ACS Net, is proposed to effectively combine the tumor benign and the malignant. Classification task with the tumor region segmentation task, which not only achieves better results than a single classification or segmentation task, but also outperforms SOA state of the art. In the future, we think we can further improve our network in three aspects. The first one is more tasks. This is not only further improve the quality of segmentation, but also be more beneficial to doctors in diagnosing the disease and the subsequent treatment. And the second one is the dynamic network, and the third is pre-processing and post-processing. Such as uh, using um, techniques such as、uh, CRF. These are the grants we obtained in recent years.、Um, there are three essential programs: natural science basic research programs, and、uh, two. Open funds of state key laboratories, and、uh, when natural、uh, national Na natural science foundation of China, and、uh, the fundamental research funds for the central universities. According, uh, uh based on the grants, I was.、Uh, I I achieved the second Young Talent Fund of University Association for Science and Technology in Shanxi, China. This is my publications.、Uh, I have published、uh, 
over twenty papers on many journals, such as the Computers in Biology and Medicine and the Journal of Geophysical Research, Specifics. Mm, and uh, the IEEE Geoscience and Report Remote Sensing Letters and IEEE Transactions on Geoscience and Remote Sensing and so on. Thank you for your attention.